Welcome to Sunday and welcome to another reading vlog. Wherever you are right now, I hope that you're cozy. I hope that you have a nice hot drink or if it is currently 85 plus degrees where you are like it is for me, I hope that you have a nice cool drink. So today we are doing a readathon of sorts. Basically, I'm just dedicating my entire day to reading and I really couldn't be happier because that is my favorite thing to do and I'm always so grateful to have these random days where I can just do nothing but read. It is such a gift. And even better yet is that I'm partnering with Book of the Month for this video. So they have supplied me all five of these books. <laughs> Not only do I get to read today, but I get to read something new and exciting. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with Book of the Month, it's this wonderful book subscription company that's been around since 1926. Basically, they search high and low for the best new releases each month, and you get to pick one of five books every month to be shipped to your home. Of these five new releases, they typically feature debut authors, which is amazing, and then they'll even sneak in a few early release novels. They typically share contemporary fiction, romance novels, sci-fi stories, and thrillers. They almost always have exactly what you need or what you're looking for to escape in during that month. So membership is $14.99 a month, and say for whatever reason you're just not keen on any of the books they have to offer that month, you can skip a month with no penalty or charge. Then if the opposite occurs where you're just really, really excited about multiple of the books they have to offer that month, you can add up to two add-ons. I think it's a great way to keep up with the times and be excited to read something new every single month. So if you do decide to sign up, you can get your first month for $9.99 with the code READON, and I will go ahead and link their website down in my description below if you're interested in just having a look and seeing what they're all about. So with that, I want to share with you guys a little tidbit about each five of their August books. Oh my goodness, they're so good. All right, let's start with the biggest one. 
The Unraveling of Cassidy Holmes by Alyssa R. Sloan. This book is not only a debut book from the author, but it's also an early release. This story provides a look into the uglier sides of the pop music industry and also a look into the less glamorous realities of being a celebrity. It follows Cassidy Holmes and her bandmates as they experience a quick rise to fame followed by a falling out and then eventually a suicide. You get to experience the story through various perspectives as it follows a non-linear timeline and kind of pieces together a series of events that led up to the suicide. Major Daisy Jones and the Six Vibes. Next we have the book that I've chosen to read today which is The Space Between Worlds by Micaiah Johnson. This is another debut novel and it is a sci-fi. With a black female protagonist and an Asian female love interest, this book definitely does more than transport you to different realities. It also highlights a lot of social issues and follows the ever satisfying rags to riches kind of outline. At least I think. I haven't finished. I've only read the first 50 pages, but basically there are these multiverses where doppelgangers exist. So if you live on one planet, then you have doppelgangers on every other planet in their galaxy and specific people can travel between these earths but only if their doppelganger is dead. The same two people can't coexist on one planet. So Kara, our protagonist, can travel between earths but there's a specific evil going on behind the scenes that threatens to disrupt everything and Kara is somehow linked to this evil. Then we have The Night Swim by Megan Golden. This is a thriller and I was so torn between reading this one and the other for this video. The basic premise premise of this story is a podcaster sets out to cover a rape trial and somehow inexplicably finds herself thrown into this murder case from many, many years before. So we follow her as she begins to discover how the two stories kind of weave together. I think I'll read this one next. Next we have Atomic Love by Jenny Fields. Our protagonist, Rosalind Porter, is a physicist who helped work on the atomic bomb, but her career is ruined and her heart is broken by co-worker or fellow scientist Thomas Weaver. And I believe all of that happens before this story even begins. Rosalind is approached by the FBI and I think is given a chance to kind of right the wrongs that were done to her by this weaver, but she's also still kind of in love with him, but then also catches feelings for this FBI agent. So we're introduced to this dramatic love triangle with a vintage James Bond spy twist. Sounds very interesting. Lastly, we have The Death of Vivek Oji by Akweki Amezi. This is a literary fiction piece that is a total tearjerker. It's a very sad and serious story that begs the question, what happens when someone is denied the space they need to exist, to be themselves? I believe it begins with the murder of an adolescent and kind of backtracks to tell their story and kind of piece together the events that led to this ending. And it serves as a great reminder that there's so much more to us than just our bodies. So it inspires empathy and understanding. It will be a very sobering read, but also very important. So with that, my friends, before my camera battery dies, let's read on. Lunch break. Hello. Hello. Good, you can join me.
such a gentleman. You have your frisbee. Did Sorry if I just made you yawn. <laughs> I am so tired. I just got past the 100 page mark and oof, I'm feeling that post lunch food coma and I've almost fallen asleep. So a change of scenery is very much needed. This book baffles me. It's just action packed. Like at this point in the story, I already feel like we've met the climax and I just don't see how the story can continue because so much has already happened. I'm enjoying being in a different world and I really, really like the concept of traversing. I mean, space travel and multiple lives ourselves. Stories like this are always so interesting. That being said, I haven't really been able to connect to the protagonist. She's super tough and independent and I really admire that about her, but it's also preventing me from connecting with her because she's so closed off to the other characters within the story. I just haven't really been able to form a relationship with her through the relationships that she might have had with these other characters. But usually when a protagonist is this guarded, by the end of the story they experience a transformation of sorts. So I'm hoping that is the case for Kara. Kara. I believe her name would be pronounced Kara. We'll see what happens. For now, let's get back to it. I'll take you with me.
Oh, thank you. They're my Crocs. <laughs> Even real ones, so. <laughs> yeah. Thanks so much, Liam. Yeah.